Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to the second experiment of the box Mel Chemistry Box Taming Acid Rain. The second experiment we're going to be doing is called sulfur dioxide. So let's get into it. First things we want to prepare in advance, which is not included in this box, is just some water and matches. If you don't have matches, a ladder will work just fine. Okay, this will be a very fun experiment because we're going to be playing with fire, I guess. Not really, but yeah. But first, we're going to take from the starter kit a pocket stove, a glass flask, safety glasses, which I'm already wearing, a flame diffuser, plastic tray, rubber stopper with one hole, and last but not least, the glass beaker. From the set, we're going to take a double-ended measuring spoon, a thermochromic sticker, wooden splint, gloves, which I'm already wearing, a tea light candle, and the flower, which is included, disodium disulfite, citric acid, and last but not least, thymol blue. Okay, so my first step, oops. My first step is to get a flower and put it in the rubber stopper with one hole, just like this. And I will put some thymol blue onto the flower. I'll add a few drops onto the flower petals. I will do this over the tray so I don't spill, and let's start, bismillah. I think that should do. Now I'm going to pour one big spoonful of dis disodium disulfite. Into the flask. And two big spoonfuls of citric acid. One and two. Now for the fun part. I'll open up the stove and put the candle on top of it and set the flame diffuser over the stove and I'll apply the sticker to the side of this stove so that we know when it's hot now I'll put our flask on top of the stove and now we need to put turn put, take off our protective gloves and we will light the candle up I'll light the stick on fire and I'll light up this candle We'll start the timer for three minutes. Now we wait. A few moments later. Okay, our three minutes is up, and now I will put the flower on top of this flask. Just like that. So let me explain. As you've probably guessed, the obvious culprit in the case of your color changing flower is the sulfur dioxide gas. But how did it manage to trick? the pH indicator into showing the presence of an acid. As a matter of fact, there was no trick. Sulfur dioxide gas, like many other gases, can dissolve in water. It doesn't stay there as sulfur dioxide molecules. It turns into sulfurous acid, and the latter makes the thymol blue turn red. The process of turning sulfur dioxide into sulfurous acid can also be reversed. If the supply of the fresh sulfur dioxide from the flask is halted, more and more sulfurous acid will turn back into water, and so sulfur dioxide making the flower less acidic. You can observe this as a change in the indicator's color from red to yellow. Sulfur dioxide isn't the only sneaky acid forming gas. The nitrogen dioxide from the neighboring experiment does something similar. It binds with water and forms two acids, nitric and nitrous. Sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide are common air pollutants, and their ability to make water acidic is what causes so-called acid rain, a phenomenon just as nasty as it sounds. Some gases, however, do just the opposite. Ammonia gas also binds with water, but forms a base, ammonium hydroxide. Okay, the five minutes is up, and as you can see, our flower turned red. That's pretty amazing, mashallah. But now, we'll get the flower. Wait, let me just get some gloves. I'll transfer the flower to the beaker, just like that. Ooh, ah. And to stop the release of gas from the flask, I will just pour some water, and I will extinguish the candle. Thank you.
And now we wait until the flower changes color again. And it looks like that's it for this experiment. Our flower turned into this nice orange color, mashallah. And that is the end of the ex experiment. I don't know how I end up wearing this mask, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> and that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.